it's Kelsey. And it's Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And today we are here in the brand new YouTube space Toronto. It's super exciting that we finally have our own space. Yeah, we have our own space here in Toronto and we decided to make a DIY cinema sign because they have a super cool bar uh, setup, which mm -hmm. we're like, let's Let's it's do it. the perfect DIY yeah. for the space, so that's what we wanted to do today. So here's how you can make your very own DIY cinema light-up box. The first step in making this light-up cinema box is gathering the right pieces of wood. You'll need one rectangle that's 14 and 3 quarters inches by 12 inches, two pieces that are 13 inches by 3 and a half inches, and two pieces that are 12 inches by 3 and a half inches. All of this wood is half inch thick and we've pre-painted the outsides white. We also used a hole saw to add a hole in one of our short pieces of wood. To make our sign light up, you'll need a simple light cord. This one is from Ikea and you want to make sure your drilled hole is big enough to fit the end of the cord in snugly. Our hole was 1 and 3 quarters inches in diameter. Now that we have all the pieces, it's time to get building. Lay your boards together on top of a large rectangle and begin to drill them together. Make sure your longest pieces are on the inside, being sandwiched by your shorter pieces. It's helpful to pre-drill holes with a drill bit and then add your screws in after to stop the wood from splitting. Once all four sides are drilled together, it should look something like this. To make sure that we get the most reflection out of our light, we're coating the back piece in this aluminum foil tape that you can easily get from the hardware store. We also added a few pieces on the sides as well. To make a nice edge for our sign, we found this half inch PVC shelf edging at the hardware store, conveniently in the same width as our wood pieces. Cut six pieces out of this that match the lengths of your wood pieces, three in the larger size and three in the smaller size. Take two of those, one of each size, and cut them directly in half lengthwise. Here's what we've got now, and here's how we're going to stack them. Take one of your cut halves and lay it inside the full piece of the matching length. Line the edge of your wood box with some wood glue and then snap the shelf edging over top. Make sure that the little half piece we added is on the inside creating a little ledge. Repeat the stacking and gluing and add on the rest of your edging until the front of the wooden box is all covered and you have a little edge that runs all the way around the inside. Now we're going to flip the whole thing over and screw on the back piece. Next add your light cord and your light bulb as well as the little screw piece that's going to keep it tight. For the front piece we're using this frosted white plexiglass we got cut at a local plastics place. It's very important to make sure your plexiglass is the size of the inside of your box and not the size of your back piece. Using some glass bonding glue, line your PVC edge with glue. Place your plexiglass on top and let it dry. And look how good it looks already. Now we need to make the ledges for our letters. For this we're using this white corrugated plastic sheet we got from the hardware store. If you cut it on either side of the corrugated holes, it creates a line strip of plastic with ridges on either side. Cut out four strips as wide as your plexiglass and lay them out evenly on your light box. Before we go any further, we need to make our letters. The right kind of plastic for this is actually a little tricky to find, but we settled on a thin plastic piece in this poster frame that we got from Walmart. You could also use binder dividers or anything you can find that's a fairly thin, clear plastic. For this size cinema box, your letters will need to be two inches tall and one inch wide. Cut out multiple rectangles out of this plastic using an X-Acto knife and a ruler. For the letters, we used our silhouette machine some black sticky vinyl, and the Americana font. We cut out the alphabet and then stuck one letter on each rectangle of the plastic. You could also easily buy sticker letters if that is easier. You may also need to make some wider rectangles for bigger letters like a W. Once you have all of your letters cut out, we can finish adding on the corrugated ledges. Place one letter between two of the middle ledges and then push them together to make sure you're placing them in the right spot. Mark this spot with a pencil and then glue them into place using the same glass glue we used earlier. Make sure you measure each ledge with one of your letters before you glue it down. Once they're all glued, allow them to fully dry. Once they're all dry, you can gently bend and pop in each letter to spell whatever you want. We also made a larger version of this sign using the same method but just adjusting all of the measurements for it to be slightly larger. Okay guys, hope you like that DIY cinema light up box. Um, it's super customizable. Let us know if you guys are gonna do this mm -hmm. and what quote you would do. Exactly. And if you wanna see more of the space that we were talking about, we did a whole vlog on the time we were here at YouTube Space when it was opening. Super exciting, go check that out as well. Let us know if you guys have any big ideas that we need to shoot it in the studio for because we now have the means to do that. Um, so if you have any big crazy ideas, we'd love to tackle them We would you. love to. I'm always down for doing really big exciting things. So let us know what your thoughts are. All right, thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you guys next time. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Oh, if you love it, sub it. I almost <laughs> forgot. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.